Hi everyone, I'm Brian and I'm a character artist here at the Animation Experience at Conservation Station. That's inside Rafiki's Planet Watch at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park in Florida. Here, you'll learn about some of the animals who call our park home. Learn how live animals have inspired characters from some of your favorite Disney movies, and get to create a personalized piece of Disney art through an instructor-led animation class. I'll be your instructor here on the Disney Parks blog. So who to draw? From the day Disney's Animal Kingdom arrived on the planet, the Lion King has been part of the park. Right now, we've got the Hakuna Matata Time Dance Party. The Tree of Life awakens at night with projections showing Simba's journey in a beautiful artistic style. And everyone loves the Festival of the Lion King live stage show. So today, as a tribute to our 1994 animated classic, The Lion King, we're gonna draw our young lion hero, Simba. Here at the Animation Station, we help you get started with the basic head shape and guidelines already on the paper. Since you're not here to draw with me, you can download that image at the Learn to Draw Simba page on the DisneyParksBlog.com. We are gonna start with a circle. We're gonna find these two guidelines. They're gonna be about the third guideline from the top. And we're going to start a circle which is gonna be right in between these guidelines. The circle is going to lean, kind of lined up with the top of this guideline right up here. And you can darken it as you go because it's a lot easier to darken a circle if you're already in the process of making it. And we're going to go over to the same spot on the other side. And we're going to draw another circle. I'm going to try to draw a symbol pretty symmetrical. All right, then just inside of that circle, we're going to draw another smaller circle just inside of that, creating the pupil and the iris around it. Now I tend to hold my pencil kind of weird for most people, but Hold it however feels best for you. Inside of the pupil, we're going to draw a little glimmer of light, the light reflecting off of the pupil. The lions have great eyesight, they do all their hunting at night. It's the female lions that do all the hunting. Alright, while we're in there, you can go ahead and use the side of your pencil like a paintbrush and shade in that pupil around the glimmer of light. It's a lot easier to shade with the side of your pencil rather than the tip. The tip will just take you forever and tend to break your pencil a lot faster as well. So we want to see the whites of the eyes. And so for that, I'm just going to follow the curve of the circle. I'm going to go just above that guideline. And then curve around towards the bottom of the circle, creating the whites of the eyes. A little bit of space around there. So, same thing on the other side. Go ahead and darken that as you go as well. Once you find a line that you like, you want to thicken up the top curve of the eye. It's got these thick eyelids. And so we're just going to pull kind of a little bit of an angle, like eyelashes, up towards the top. And then thicken up the top curve. We're going to draw his tear ducts next, and it's just going to be kind of a letter V shape coming down from the side of the eye. Lions have a lot of darkness around their eyes. I'm going to create these little points and then fill those in. Same thing on both sides. Now let's draw the arches above Simba's eyes. So we're going to start from that corner little letter V shape that we created. And we're going to draw an arch like the gateway arch or the St. Louis arch. It's going to curve up to the guideline right up here and then curve very close to the side of the circle and stop across from kind of where we angle in on the eye right here. Keep your lines nice and light to start. Always draw your lines nice and light to start. Do the same thing on the other side. Stay very close to the inside of that circle and then stop just right across from the middle of that eye. And we're gonna connect the eye to that line by just drawing a curve and run right into that eye. All right, now as we darken the lines for that arch, we're gonna give them eyebrows. And the eyebrows, we just wanna thicken up, top curve out a little bit of fur up there, and just add a lot of thickness. Just thick eyebrows. Same thing on this side, we can add a couple more little pointed juts that side doesn't need to be completely symmetrical. Lions have pads under their eyes. It helps reflect the moonlight. And so we're just going to stay just below the eye and run back into that little tear duct shape right there. Same 
same thing on both sides. Just kind of an angle down to that guideline, connect it all together. You do those dark. Once you get a shape that you like, it's starting to look a little bit more like Simba. Now that we've got the eyes down pretty well, we're going to move on to Simba's nose. So I'm going to start just at the bottom of the arch shape where the tear duct meets, and I'm just going to draw a very light curve. It's going to be lined up with the side of the eye down to this longer guideline right here towards the bottom. I'm going to drag a line across the top to create wrinkles. It's just going to run down to the center guideline, and then another one right above it. That one you can run through that guideline, creates these little wrinkles that will be above the nose. On the right side, I'm going to start in the same spot, but I'm going to start just above it and draw it curving out. That way he's not, his nose won't be that symmetrical. Should still be lined up with the inside of the eye. Then we're going to draw kind of a stretched out curvy U shape. It's going to start from this line, go to this line, and run down to this little notch guideline down there. Now we're going to turn that into a boomerang shape. If you forgot how to draw a boomerang, don't worry, it'll come back to you. So we're going to start right up here, it'll hit that guideline, curve down to about halfway between this line and this line, and run back up so we get this little boomerang shape. All right, we can kind of go back over those lines if you haven't already, make them a little bit more solid. He definitely needs to throw some nostrils in there, that's going to help him you know, smell little hook shape in there, a little fisherman's hook. I'm going to create a sesame seed shape at the bottom. You can darken those as you go once you get some shapes that you like. And then we're going to fill those in. All right, we're done with the nose. Now we're moving on to the mouth. So we're going to start by drawing just a short little line that's going to go between the nose and the circle. It's really just going to stop right in the middle right there. Now we're gonna draw the curves for his cheeks that'll start way back up here by the tear duct where it touches the nose. And I'm gonna draw a little curve, which will run down to the guideline, and then we're gonna curve it out to the side of the circle. Darken that as you go. On the right side, you can change it up a little bit. You can kinda make it a little bit more of a smirk by creating this kind of bent S curve. Now between this guideline and the side of the circle, we're going to find the halfway point on this. This would be the corner of his mouth, and like his dimple. And I'm going to draw, it's going to end up looking like a letter W. I'm just going to run down to the bottom of the circle right there. And there, same place on the other side. And then we're going to come to a rounded off point and run into that mark that you made. Creating kind of a stretched out letter W. Go back over those lines, if you haven't already. Refine them. And then we're going to move into the chin. For the chin, we start from the corner of the mouth, and we're just going to run down to this bottom guideline, outside of the circle. Same thing on this side. Run down to the bottom guideline. And we can kind of very lightly curve off the bottom creating a big U-shape. Now when we darken this, we want to add fur to it. So we're just going to follow the shape, and I'm just going to add these little pieces of fur, these little juts of fur sticking out. Not too much, just a little bit towards the bottom. And you can really do this however you want, make it as fluffy as you want, make it nice and fluffy. Next, we want to draw Simba's ears. So we're going to find the halfway point between this top guideline right here and the second guideline right here on the outside of our circle. His ears are shaped like mug handles. So I'm going to start right in there. I'm going to run to the top of that guideline. I'm going to curve out and down to the bottom guideline right here, this one. And then curve back up slightly so we get this big mug handle shape. Do the same thing on the other side big mug handle shape. All right, now he has these curves, these folds in his ears, and we're gonna do S curves for those. And we start just across from this line by the eye, just on the outside of the circle. I'm gonna curve up and down, creating an S curve, almost like a question mark shape. And same thing on this side. 
He has a little tuft of fur on the inside of his ears. And so we're just gonna kind of draw the same curve as the outside mug handle shape, just on the inside, very lightly. Now before we darken any of those lines, we wanna work on the cheeks. So I'm gonna start from below this fold in the ear right there. And just very lightly, I'm just gonna draw a little curve leaving the side of the circle, and then angling back in and running down into the cheek, just very lightly. So we're doing the same thing on this side, and then curving down to the chin. So this jawline, very lightly. Now that we have that in place, we know that we don't want to darken any of the lines that are going through the cheeks. So we can actually start to go back over the ear. And once we get near the bottom, we can add just a little piece of fur just to make them look especially fluffy. Add a couple of juts of fur on this side. And then we can get that inside curve to the ear. Now for this little different color tuft of fur on the inside of the ear, we want to just make that very fluffy. So we want to add lots of little juts of fur all the way around. And he has hairs on the inside of his ears. So you're really just going to make three hairs. All right, then we want to add fur to the cheeks. So we just follow this curve, add some little pieces of fur, and then run down to the chin. Same thing on this side. You can always add a little bit more on either side. Maybe he slept on his face wrong and one side is smooth, the other side is really fluffy, you never know. And then this area of the ear is darker. So you can use the side of your pencil and fill that in. You always want to try to shade in the same direction. To finish up our Simba, we just have to finish up the top of his head. So I'm going to start just inside the ear and start to trace back over the circle. Now once I get towards the top, we're just going to kind of pull some little pieces of fur out. Just be really, really loose with it. Give him a little tuft of fur on the top of his head. And then just go back over some of those lines and finish up this side of the circle. Now something's missing. It's very subtle, but it's his whiskers. So let's add the whiskers in there. We're gonna start just inside the face over here and throw four whiskers off this side. Some lines. And he actually only has three on this side. All right, so the last thing you wanna do is always Sign your drawing. That shows whose masterpiece this is. Just so you remember when you drew it, always throw the date on there too. So you can look back as you progress and see how you've improved with every drawing. And there you go. You just drew Simba from the 1994 animated masterpiece, The Lion King. And if you make it here to Walt Disney World in Florida, come see me and the other amazing character artists here at the Animation Experience at Conservation Station. Maybe we'll teach you to draw one of your favorite characters.